Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I will show you how to make this sunset sweater. I hope you like it and you will try to make it because you will see that it's pretty easy to make. First we will talk a bit about the construction of the sweater to make it clear what we have to do. So this sweater is uh, worked from cuff to cuff. So we are starting making the first cuff, then working the sleeve, and then uh, the body of the sweater, which is uh, made in um, four sections. First is the shoulder, then we will split into front panel and back panel just to split the neckline, and then we will continue with the second shoulder. And after that we will work the second sleeve and the second cuff. So basically as you can see this is worked in mirror. So basically the first sleeve it's similar with the second sleeve work only that instead of increasing we will have to decrease to get the same shape. So I hope with this um, uh, this diagram will help you to see how the uh, the sweater is constructed. I'm using for the sweater this um, uh, Katia Concept Yoga. This yarn, uh, well the brand is uh, considering that is a category 3 yarn but I think that it's more almost a 2. So basically the sweater can be worked for with any yarn from fingering to DK yarn and we will use a 4 mm crochet hook. So this is my uh, first sketch that I did with the sweater. As you saw on the diagram before is the same thing what I'm showing you here that we will wear the cuff, the sleeve, then the, the body of the sweater and then with the uh, we will wear the other sleeve and the second cuff. So we will start working the cuff now and this is worked in a single crochet back loop ribbing so we will chain 26 or the amount of stitches that you will want to get to the desired uh, width of the cuff um, Maybe you will want to make it uh, smaller because uh, I didn't uh, take into consideration the cuff width when I was calculating the sleeve length because I just wanted to have the sweater to have um, longer sleeves but in case you want to um, have a shorter sleeve you just uh, can adjust the number of stitches that you are doing for for the cuff so I will just make here 26 stitches so in the end the cuff width will be of 25 single crochet stitches but if you want you can make it shorter so let's just start and wear 26 stitches and then starting with the second stitch we will single crochet into each stitch to the end of the row. So at the end you will have uh, 25 single crochets. On the second row we will just chain one and turn and now we will start working single crochet just in the back loop to create that ribbing eff effect of, uh, of the stitch pattern and basically this row 2 is the one that we will have to repeat it until you will get the desired width uh, circumference of the sleeve cuff 
Okay, so this is the cuff. I already did 36 rows and now I will chain 2 and we will have to work half double crochet into each side row. So one half double crochet in each side row single crochet. So basically at the end of this uh, row you will have 36 half double crochets or the same amount as half double crochet as uh, the number of rows that you had on the cuff. Okay, so I'm working into each side row one half double crochet. Okay, I just finished this uh, first row here and now we will start to increase for the sleeve. Always we will do the increases with two half double crochet in one single stitch but always we will do the increase into the second stitch and into the second stitch before the last one. So now I just started with one half double crochet into first stitch then in the second one I did an increase and I will continue with one half double crochet into each stitch and in the stitch before the last one I will do the uh, increase again and this will be the row that you will have to repeat until you will have in total 64 rows counting the first row as well the one worked into the side row single crochets so you will just have to repeat this row increasing at the beginning and at the end of the row. Okay, so this is the sleeve. Basically now I got to have the length of the sweater that I uh, needed for. And now we will start working on the shoulder section. If you remember the uh, diagram at the beginning it was that uh, teal color section but first we will have to extend the length of our sweater with the ribbing band now if you had to f uh, if after you finish the sleeve you need more length than the ribbing then you can add more stitches at the beginning and at the end of the row. I'm cutting the yarn here and I will start with uh, having a chain, the chain needed for the ribbing on my hook, because otherwise you'll have different um, number of rows on one side and on the other. So I'm chaining 10 stitches now. If you need extra length you can chain more stitches. I just make the chain for the ribbing so I will chain 10 and then in the first uh, in the first uh, stitch of uh, my sweater of our sleeve I will do a half double crochet exactly in the first stitch in this way you will have uh, the same number of rows on each side because otherwise if uh, we started from where our yarn is and just chaining at the end of the row and then when turning chaining on the other side then basically on the uh, end of the row you will end up with one row more than in the other side i don't know if it makes sense but even if you don't want to cut the yarn this is a better way to do it in my opinion so now starting with the first stitch we are just half double crocheting to each stitch to the end of the row and then when we are getting at the end of the row we will chain the extra length, the ribbing length that we need on the other side.
basically you saw that the sweater is worked both front and back in one single piece the only section where we will work them separately will be uh, to sh uh, make the to leave a space a hole for the neckline so now at the end of the row you will have to chain 11 because the uh, length of the uh, ribbing is 10 stitches and with a turning chain to have uh, one extra stitch you'll need one extra stitch so now we will turn and we will work starting with the second stitch just in the chain stitches we will work single crochet stitches so basically you will have 10 single crochet to make and then starting with the first half double crochet you will start making half double crochets so now I'm doing the first 10 single crochets And then I'm starting to work a half double crochet into each stitch and when I will get to the uh, chain I will do single crochet as well in the extra chain stitches that we did at the beginning of the previous row okay so we are at the end of the row and now we need to make uh, 10 single crochets into the extra chain to finish the uh, this row And this will be the end of the first row of the first shoulder section. And at the end of the row we will have to chain one and turn. So basically on this extension that we did for the ribbing we will work a different stitch pattern so for the only 10 stitches at the beginning and at the end of the row we will work single crochet into the back loop and for the rest of the sweater we will work half double crochet so now we will just chain one and turn and working in the back loops only we will single crochet into the first 10 stitches of our row and then starting with the first half double crochet we will half double crochet into each stitch until we will get into the last 10 stitches of the ribbing where we will have to single crochet into the back loop only and this will be the row that we will have to repeat until we will finish the shoulder section and you will have 16 rows in total I forgot to mention that uh, this sweater which uh, we are doing is for size small is the size that I'm wearing in the photos so for bigger sizes uh, you can check my website because uh, the pattern for this uh, sweater is coming in plus sizes also from small up to 5 extra large so in case you want to make it in uh, bigger sizes you can check the um, website for the for the pattern so I did the 16 rows for the shoulder and now we will have to split our sweater in half because we will work the front panel and back panel separately to create the hole for the uh, for the neck and I place a stitch marker in the middle stitch after finishing increasing all the uh, stitches for the um, sleeves you will have in total 160 
four or six st two stages I don't remember but you can check the blog the blog post the blog pattern for the stitch count so you will have to place the stitch marker in the middle stitch and now we will work to we will start working the front panel so the first 10 stitches the ribbing are the same so we are working single crochet just in uh, back loop for the first 10 stitches and then we will work one half double crochet into each stitch but we will stop with the front panel with three stitches before the stitch marker to make the front neckline a bit lower than the back panel even if it has a boat shaped neckline and it will be comfortable to wear even if you don't have those uh, three stitches to let it on sides uh, let them on sides um, but I found it more comfortable to wear like this and the thing that I have to mention if you want um, that your neckline to be um, not uh, narrower than the one uh, that we have here it measure approximate 27 centimeters then you can work more rows on the shoulder section and let uh, less rows fewer rows for the neckline so now when we got to the with three stitches before the stitch marker you just have to chain two and turn and then work one half double crochet into each stitch except the ribbing stitches where you will have to work single crochet into the back loops and we are doing for the front panel thir uh, th 37 rows in total so this will be the width of the neckline and then we will start working the back panel so these are the two rows that you will have to repeat until you have 37 rows in total or try to have a odd number of rows if you want to customize the neckline width okay so now I will just continue and work my uh, front panel and then we will meet again to start working on the back panel which will be similar with the uh, front panel okay so to work the back panel you'll just have to start and rejoin your your uh, yarn into the marked stitch so this will be the start of our back panel rows so I will just cut the yarn here for the front panel and I will rejoin yarn into the uh, mark stitch so we rejoin yarn and then we will chain two Chain 2 doesn't count as a stitch in the beginning of the row, so we always work the half double crochet into the first stitch. And we will start to half double crochet into each stitch, except the last 10 stitches of the ribbing, where you'll have to single crochet into the back loop only. And we will continue repeating those uh, rows until we will have 37 rows in total or the same number of rows as uh, you worked for the front panel and you should end up at the end of the row so after ribbing so the joining row where when we will join the front and back panel to be basically a row from uh, ribbing to ribbing so now I will just continue and work the half double crochet stitches until I will get at the ribbing and then repeat them for 37 rows. So now I finished the back panel as well. This is how the sweater is looking uh, until now. 
we basically finish one half of the sweater and now we are just starting to work in the mirror so now we need to repeat the rows for the shoulder section and then repeat the number of rows uh, for the sleeve but uh, instead of increasing like we did with the first sleeve we will have to decrease but now uh, this is the joining row so we will have to work the first uh, 10 stitches of the ribbing with single crochet into the back loop and then we will continue with one half double crochet until we will get at the end of the row for the back panel so at the neckline and there we will uh, joining the back panel with the front panel to start working on the second shoulder Okay, now let's just half double crochet into each stitch until we will get to the neckline. And now we will do the joining. Remember that we uh, basically skip three stitches for the front uh, panel. So now we will have to chain those three stitches to have the same shape and the same uh, uh, length for our sweater. So just chain three and then yarn over as for a half double crochet and go into the first stitch of the front panel and make your first half double crochet. And now we will continue with one half double crochet into each stitch except the last 10. And the last 10 stitches are for ribbing so we'll have to single crochet into the back loops only. And after finishing this uh, row, we are starting uh, basically to work on our second shoulder. So you'll have to work into uh, the same number of rows as for the other uh, shoulder section, which uh, are 16 rows. So starting from now, we are working uh, 10 uh, single crochet in the back loops into the first stitches then half double crochet all the way until we get to the last 10 stitches where we will have to single crochet in the back loop as well for the uh, ribbing and repeat this for 16 rows or the same number of rows that you did for the um, first shoulder section now we are starting to work on the sleeve but first we will have to decrease the ribbing stitches because the body of the sweater is done so I will just slip stitch the first 10 stitches or you can do it as well as we did it uh, when we started uh, uh, the body just to cut the yarn and start with the first uh, half double crochet but these slip stitches are not that visible, are not like an entire row. So I just slip stitch and then starting with the first half double crochet, you will have to half double crochet into each stitch until you will get to the last 10. And we are just skipping the last 10 stitches without working anything in them. So when you did the last um, half double crochet you basically just have to chain two and turn okay so now we will chain two and turn And we will do in the first stage one half double crochet and in the next two we will do a decrease. So yarn over, insert the hook 
then insert the hook into the next stitch and the yarn over, pull out the loop and pull the yarn through all the loops. So this is how we are doing the decrease. You can do another type of decrease if you find it um, more easy or you are more used to it. And then you will just uh, have to half double crochet into each stitch until you have three stitches left. And in the two stitches before the last one, you will have to make the decrease and then finish the row with one half double crochet into the last stitch. So here you, we are. I'm doing the decrease. and then one half double crochet into the last stitch and you'll have to repeat this row until you'll have the same number of stitches as you start with so you'll have 36 stitches it's possible that for this uh, sleeve to have with one row um, more than on the other sleeve because we started with that uh, no, actually it's the same number of row. So basically you will need 64 rows to get to the same number of stitches as you start with. And when we will have 36 stitches left, we will start working on our ribbing. Okay, let's see. So this is how our sweater is looking until now. We just have to work the sleeve and the cuff and then everything will be uh, done and we will just have to assemble the sweater and it's ready. So I, I continue to work on the sleeve and now I have uh, 36 stitches but because I want to work uh, the ribbing on the right side because we are doing the ribbing and joining uh, with the sleeve as we go so I'm doing a second another row without decreasing just in half double crochet you remember that after ribbing we had a, a, a row made without increasing so basically it's the same row before ribbing so now we'll just half double crochet into each stitch and then after finishing this uh, row we can start working on our ribbing okay so now we will just have to chain 26 or the same number of stitches as uh, you did for the first ribbing, first cuff okay and now starting with the second stitch we will single crochet into each stitch until we will get at the end of this uh, chain so we will have 25 single crochet and then we will have to join this row with the sleeve with the actual, actual sleeve and we will see right away how we can do this okay I just uh, made 25 single crochet and now to join this row to connect this row with the sleeve you just have to slip stitch into the next two stitches of this sleeve and now turn and in the back loop only work single crochet stitches to the end of the row At the end of the row we will chain one and turn and
and we will start with the first stitch and single crochet into each stitch until we get to the sleeve and when we are getting at the sleeve we are just uh, connecting this row with the sleeve by making two slip stitches into the next two stitches and these rows you will have to repeat them until you have the entire width of the sleeve done so here I'm doing two slip stitches into the next stitches and then turn and we will have to repeat these two rows until we complete the entire width of the sleeve and then we can start assembling the sweater so I will meet you right away after finishing the cuff to assemble ok so I finished the cuff and now you don't have to cut the yarn because we will use this yarn for uh, stitching the side of the sweater I already did the other side so I just have to do this one to have the sweater done so we will use the same yarn I will just use a yarn needle to insert the yarn through it and then to start sewing for the stitch or how to join or assemble uh, the sweater is depending which kind of uh, uh, sewing technique or stitching technique you find more easy and less visible or you are more used to it I'm just using uh, one which is similar with knitting the mattress stitch but in different way uh, as I saw it in uh, crochet so I just uh, insert the needle around the post the stitches so not just uh, through the um, loops that are on the top of the stitches this is uh, if we are joining actually stitches and basically when I'm going um, up and we just have to stitch together uh, side rows I am just insert the needle in the same way on a high of a half double crochet in this case but you can use any um, sewing method that you find uh, easy for you and you are used to it but you have to be patient and just stitch by stitch connecting the stitches together to have a beautiful sweater and neat uh, stitching on this uh, sides of the sweater so take your time and uh, stitch the sides together and after finishing uh, stitching the sides uh, I just work a uh, border on edge on the neckline but I did only one row in single crochet just to give uh, just to make those uh, those edges of the um, rows to look neater but you can do more rows if you want or more rounds but I found it that this is enough for what I needed for that neckline so basically I uh, rejoined the yarn at the back in the middle stitch and now I'm just single crochet into each half double crochet side row to make the edge of the neckline and after finishing this neckline basically the sweater is done you just need to block it to the measure measurements and then it will be ready to wear with proud that you you did it so I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and you like the sweater 
and I can wait to show you some other stuff that I'm making and to share with you how you can make them and how to wear them. Thank you for watching.